Better than Lego. Better than Lego. <laughs> Matthew Jones is in position for a long range shot. He's with it now, Matthew Jones. Here goes the Well, kick. people, welcome to our second edition of the Johns Family Podcast for 2023. Uh, geez, I'll tell you what, we've got a bit of fun today. Impromptu, we've d- decided to make it crazy. Hat day. Hmm. How are you going? I noticed that you all had your I like your on. hat. Well, I brought oh. one. Well, I've got loads of hats. My big sombrero one you wouldn't let me wear because, well, I couldn't put my things on. Couldn't. I don't think oh, it's really going to fit over my... It's not going to work for me. I think you're putting to put it on first and then under. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Yes. I've got hair to worry about. Yeah, your hair's looking a bit strange. Actually, you, you've got oh, you, thanks. your hair looks you're like the a one, hat. You're the one that always likes my hair curly. I yeah, go and get it blow dry, I, and you reckon that I get attitude, apparently. You when? Am I right? Hey, Jack, how are you going, by the way, before we continue the conversation? I'm, uh, I'm good, mate. I'm good. <laughs> but, Cooper, do you think when Trish gets the hair straightened, she starts to think she's Jennifer Aniston? I don't really notice that. I don't really notice the difference when she has her hair curly or straightened. Thank you, Cooper. Would you? Are you saying you prefer it curly? I like it curly. But you is that in a is that in a sense of how she acts, or is that in a sense of your attractiveness to her? Um, I would say both. I mean, when was that's that? why I get my hair straight. <laughs> yeah. so the, Cobra, are you assuming you know the behaviours of Jennifer Aniston? Yes. Yes. Old Jennifer. Um, I got a bit of news. Yeah, I, I bought yeah. we bought the women's magazines this week to let people know what's going on in the world. Oh, <laughs> got some salacious stuff <laughs> on Jennifer Anderson, our man Harry Styles. Um, now the reason we're doing the impromptu hat day is that I've got a new pair of reading glasses. People, mm. uh, I really like them. Trish, you're not a big fan. I despise them. Why? I just don't think they suit you, Matt. I disagree. Now we're splitting the decision here. Dangerous Dave, he believes I look like Hunter S. Thompson. Mm-hmm. Um, other people suggest, uh, Gav reckons I look like Jeffrey Dahmer, mm-hmm. um, the Dahmer wants a wife, which made me think, who in this room I would eat first? Um, Trish? Uh, I'm old. I wouldn't. I'm I old just think tough. A bit, bit more, yeah. bit, bit she'd, more she'd, meat on them. <laughs> she'd be really just what? stringy. What? Yeah, nice big rump. Oh. Um, Sorry, Gav, I'm going to eat you, mate. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what we're going to do, Coop, you start at the head, I'll start at the feet. And um, oh. it's like the old cannibal joke where you go, I said, how you going, Coops? You go, oh, Dad, I'm having a ball. Slow down, son. You're f***ing eating too much. <laughs> eating too quick. Too fast. <laughs> too fast. See, everyone everyone seems to think those uh, glasses came into um, pop culture from Dharma, but I'm, I'm pretty sure they were uh, they were similar ones that were in the Lovely Bones from the serial killer. That's true. Yeah. Remember that movie? Yes, because remember, that, that dude. Yeah. quite a few years ago, I had the gold pair, and I think that was your comment, Jack, at the time. Mm. You look like a serial killer. Yeah, yeah. So these are serial killer glasses. In this fact, is my dad had a similar serial pair killer. in the 70s. Yes. Yeah. And he was... Serial killer. Not a serial killer. <laughs> right, out, people, as I introduce you formally, if you're an American food, which would you be and why, Patricia? I'm going... I'm become quite addicted um, to, to the liquid speak. cheese. Oh, you're right. Yeah. Yeah. Remember oh. when we were in America, I went, Do we? I don't even know, do we have that here? It's mm. just, yeah. Oh, no, but it comes like in a pump and it's all over the nachos and it's over everything and it, I'm in love with it. The Philly cheesesteak you Whoa. had at, at Central Park, you were just feeding it like a big hoagie in yeah, your yeah. mouth. Yeah, you actually videoed me. Yeah, yeah, I did. I did. We might put that up on <laughs> on yeah, uh, on TikTok. Is know. that what it is, Coop? Yeah. The old TikTok? Yeah, we've got the new TikTok uh, app out yes. there at the moment, haven't we? Mm. Is TikTok owned by the, the Chinese Communist Party? Oh, oh, I don't know if it's Chinese. I don't know if it, it's definitely owned by Chinese-y. China. Oh, it yeah. is. Yeah, it's China. Well, I think it would be the party then. Well, then. Because they basically own everything. That's what communism is, isn't mm. it? What about, did you see the balloon that just went hovering over? <laughs> and yeah, the balloon. Mm-hmm. Not really, dis- I'll just say this, send this out to China, because I know the Chinese Communist Party love this podcast. <laughs> Guys, if you're going to spy on someone, don't have basically a Zeppelin <laughs> o- over the top of, of who What did they to- say it was? They came out and said. I said they were checking the weather. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, it was like a weather balloon or something. Because yeah. they like to do it like in Beijing, they go. Now, the weather in Dakota today <laughs> is. Uh, what are you, Coops? I had uh, a twink here. Ooh. Um, because, uh, because unlike, uh, a lot of people say, you know, I, I'm this because on the outside I'm hard and on the inside I'm soft. Well, I'm the other way on the outside I'm soft and on the inside I'm even softer. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, self-deprecation. It's about Ooh. time. <laughs> Jacko. Big, big balls. What's done? Oh, mate. 
I, uh, I had the vanilla milkshake. Um, is that really is that American? Yes, it is. It's a milk. Yeah, the, the old oh. American milk bars. Oh. Well, yeah. Well, my new nickname up here at the moment, uh, the boys are calling me Miller. Uh, apparently, I'm quite plain and uh, <laughs> How dare they? extreme. Uh, well, the words uh, my roommate Dylan called me was uh, extremely beige. So I thought, yeah, <laughs> vanilla milkshake probably works. Oh, yeah. Yeah. they're just jealous, Jack. Some people are just cruel, aren't they? Mm. Um, yeah, I've gone the good old fashioned nachos because oh, when me and Trish from America, we looked and went, hmm. A little hungry. Trish, you fancy a nachos for an entree? Seriously. And seriously, they brought a volcano out. Oh, that, It, it yeah. was like a corn chip It thing. was on placed on an oval dish about this big. And we went, oh, well, we might have to reconsider. That was in LA at that, yeah. the place that had the bucking, uh, the mechanical bull. Yes. But, yeah. like, we got a bit tired. We were sitting there waiting for yeah. it to come on. I was going to get on it. Yeah, yeah. And you, you, got you offered me something. The ball? You got, you got Are we talking about the ball? Yeah, you got no, mechanical Trish, ball. can we go back to the mechanical <laughs> ball? Get down on it. Uh, uh, get down on it. Uh, uh. Um, really? Okay. okay. Um, oh, my God. You are a bad man again. Trish, this week. Um, my favourite thing to do. Trisha, what has caught your eye this week? Well, I went away for a girls weekend last weekend up at Byron. Yep. Which was, I realised. Getting porked up there. Oh my god! It's twelve women. I don't think so. Well, but I think that Sisu, um, <laughs> Sisu, Sisu. I don't feel like dancing. Dan, dan. No, but what I did, oh yeah, no, you are right. Sorry. Uh, I did um, realize how much I miss female company. Like I'm just surrounded by boys all the time. Oh, yeah. All what, the time. What did you just get up to? Um, laying in the oh, just hanging in the pool in the spa, drinking, laughing. We hiked to Boron Bay Lighthouse, went for a swim at Watergoes. Anyone take drugs? No, <laughs> no, we won't do that. Yeah. I think they would. Have. Yeah, yeah, I sort we of. We would sense. not do that. Yeah, gummies. No gummies. Yes, yes, no gummies. yes, yes, no gummies. Yes. Yes. Um, and then um, it's riveting. Oh, really? Talking about I, taking drugs, I went to uh, Canberra to Parliament House yesterday. <laughs> yeah. Representing Fox Sports with Albo. Yeah. How is he? Albo's good. You know, it's funny. He's a, a nice person man. Be- I liked him. A person, become, person is normal and suddenly they become Prime Minister and they tell you when you get there, oh, you, when you meet uh, Mr Albanese, uh-huh. don't touch him. And I thought, that. Oh. So I went up and I not only gave him a cuddle, what, but no. I s- gave him a squeeze on the ass, a little tickle on the squint. As well, you and did they, not. The security goes, "Did you just grab the prime minister <laughs> on the ass?" And I said, "And a little tickle on the asshole." And he was like, "Oh, mate." Was Albo like it? Well, put, get down on it. <laughs> Stop <laughs> it. <laughs> yeah, it was good. He's a good guy. I like Albo. Yeah, Seems I do good. too. Yeah, yeah. He's but very nice. Very normal. What are yeah. you blokes? We went to uh, Chili uh, Chili Peppers, me and Jackson, uh, mm. on Saturday night. We went out there. Uh, him and Post Malone were together. And can I just say, Post Alone? Yep, Post Alone, uh, Sylvester's brother. And uh, he was, pro- they were probably, Post Alone, I would give an eight, pretty good, uh, knew most of his songs. Chili Peppers, first half an hour was an eight. And then the next part of the concert, probably a five. I hate when people, um, bands play their new it's, stuff. Oh, yeah. It's the worst possible sound you can hear. Yeah. Hey, oh, man, here's awesome. a song off our new album. Well, guess what, people? I'm going for a shit because this is going to be bad. Yeah. Well, you would have had to have taken the world's longest shit for them because it went for about an hour and a half that they played with no. their new stuff. Yeah. Well, you'd have been fine. They, they, they must be smarter you would, you would than that. You would think like they. You would think that a band like Chili Peppers that have songs like "Can't Stop" and "Under the Bridge." Now, there's a fair few other songs I'll let slide, but when you have those two songs that are so prominent on like any like. And any bands, if anyone wrote it, it would be their biggest song. And yeah. they didn't play those two songs. Like there were people in the crowd with signs for the encore putting up signs saying under the bridge. And you're thinking yeah. they would have to play it now. And they still didn't play like it. Like wow. that would be it's just their criminal. Uh, their... That, that and Californication are their two biggest did ones. They do love oh, Roller well, Coaster. See, for me, That's right under the bridge would be their one. No, no, love Roller Coaster. No, let's, yeah, there, no that's a different. Ronan Keating's got one. Life <laughs> is a roller coaster. <laughs> okay. Love roller coaster is the Chili Peppers. Is it? Yeah, well, sing no, it, Matt. They- sing it. Mm. Roller coaster. 
of love. Yeah, Say yeah, what? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that, that one. Is that yeah. Chili Peppers? It's Chili love. Peppers. Oh, so obviously they, they didn't do it. <laughs> no, they didn't do that. Well, they didn't do that one either. I, I, I have no appetite. I like the Chili Peppers, but I have no appetite to see them in concert after the big day out a few years ago. They would. It was 10 years ago, Cobb. Ta- you and me were. Yes, it was. It's our anniversary. Yeah. It was. Remember that? Oh. What, how hot was it that day, Jack? Was it, it was like 46. It hit, it hit 40s in Australia Day. There were, by the end of the day, I was drenched in water and sweat because of the uh, fire hoses just getting sprayed in the air. Because yeah, there were people getting dragged out from dehydration yeah. of the concert. Well, yeah. and, and probably other reasons as well. <laughs> yeah, I, yes, I, I, yeah. I, I, I tend to. Yes, I tend that to. Was, think um, that was also the day Dad got sneaky nutted. Uh, there was a, oh, I did there too. was a trend going around. Yeah, at, Doback's cousin got yeah. it. <laughs> there was a trend going out at the time. People would uh, ask uh, well-known people for a picture, or basically anyone for a picture. And while they were doing that, they would get their old fellas out. Yeah. Uh, they just slip it out the side yeah, of their just shorts. Just out the right? side of the shorts. And Dad got done pro- by probably the ugliest old fella I've ever seen. I know. Uh, we're talking uh, about I haven't seen circumcision. I don't think he was circumcised. No, nah, he had an anteater, mm. and it was it was <laughs> trying to uh, yeah. lick Dad's leg. Oh. It was um, an anteater that had basically a mouthful of ants. Yeah, Oop. it was feral. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, it was. And it t- turns out he was one of Jack's mate's cousins. Yeah. So uh, well done, yeah. Doback. Because I was working at Shout yeah. out to Doback. Mr. Yeah. Doback. Because yeah. at the time I was working at Triple M and the boss of Triple M got in touch with me and said, oh, would you like to release a statement? And I was like... What? What? Release a statement saying, I really apologise to everybody that when I've got a photo in goodwill, some bloke hung his cock out. And they're like, seriously? Oh, mate. Yeah, that would be that would be some sort of uh, that'd be yeah. some sort of statement. Imagine that. People who hadn't seen the photo going, what? What? <laughs> Sorry, guys, to someone else's penis out in the photo. Um, post Stallone. Yeah. Um, what I've re- song does he sing? I don't know if I know uh, his stuff. I think he'd love Roller Coaster. He does a cover yeah. of that. <laughs> love Roller Coaster. Did, um, did, what, I've read reports that people are worried about him. Yeah, I, there's a heap of stuff going around at the moment. He was acting really weird on stage, and now there's heaps of reports going out saying that he's people think he's um, having like a breakdown or that he's... Like not well in the head because he was doing some. He was doing some crazy shit. Like what? But I oh, like just screaming, smashed a guitar, oh. um, and he was just seemed like he was off his head. And is that out of character for him? Well, that's the thing. I don't know. I haven't seen yeah. any of his. Of he his actually concerts. sent like a really nice dude at the end of every song. Yeah, <laughs> he seemed like he was okay. <laughs> But I don't know. You know what I mean? I don't, I'm not sure. Maybe. Maybe you know, it's just part of his character for his performance. But well, I, seem, I mean, yeah. it just shows this generation how soft they are, Trish. Like back in the day when you went and watched a rock concert, there was lots of screaming and there was lots of smash guitars. No. Not if you're an individual yeah, performer. Yeah, but usually there was a group weird. of them. This guy was yeah. by himself. Yeah. 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 Dad, mate. Don't, be, ass, don't assume that he's all right, mate. Okay. You know, well, is anyone sh- checking that maybe, he's okay? Well, maybe you can send him a message. Maybe he listens to the podcast. Well, I've got some. I, it's six degrees of separation, the old um, Kevin Bacon. Mm-hmm. A friend of mine was went over to the Super Bowl one year in Atlanta, right, and went into a place and they were sitting at a table. Anyway, a bloke came over who ran the uh, the club they were at and said, hey, um, and it really, a VIP's come in. Would you mind if he came and joined the table? And he said, who's the VIP? And they said, oh, Post Malone. And he said, don't know who he is, no. <laughs> really? Yes. Who yeah. was it? It was Hutchie. Oh, really? Yes, Hutchie. Oh, yeah. Matt, can we just Craig show Hutchinson. everyone your um, shirt? Your wrist. Do you reckon it's time for a new shirt, mate? Uh, no. That's what like, all, seriously? Yeah. For people who are listening, uh, Dad's under his... It's um, completely. Armpits. He's got mad holes mm. all um, over them. Um, They're hanging on by a thread. Literally. Mm. And the pocket, there was a pocket on that shirt. But it's, no, oh, he's got it on inside. Oh, it's yeah, inside yeah, out. Yeah. It's, my, it's my phobia about seams. So yeah. when I'm, I thought you'd gotten better with that. Yeah, sort of comes and goes. Mm. Hey, uh, something I wanted to talk about last week, I didn't get around to it, um, talking about you know what had happened over the break. Mm. I wanted to talk about the prank war that went on at Manly. Uh, I've never seen quite seen a sort of feud of practical jokes that went on uh, as bad as I did. The first one that happened was somebody, um, first of all, took one of the boys' car like car tires off, put it on bricks, oh. uh, Which and he lived out west. Oh. So he had an hour and a half commute anyway, and then he had to get an NRMA to come put his tires on. Oh, no. Uh, then in retaliation, he put chili in the, the bloke who did it to his um, car, Put chili in his undies, Ooh. and uh, oh. yeah, the bloke who was doing it went into the ice bars for half an hour mm. trying to uh, get the boss gags down. Well, but you know what? You should have actually popped it in a glass of milk. 
Yeah. Because Matt's done that before. Yeah, but no, really? no, I just yeah. do that for kicks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, how, how are you going to do that? How are you going to put your genitals in the glass? Yeah. yeah you Unless get a... you got real. I know Dad's got really saggy testicles. <laughs> so I'm not sure about uh, these young fellas. Yeah, I don't think it was his balls as much as his. What, was it your balls or guys? Balls it, and cock. It was right. my dick and balls were <laughs> in. It was basically like a dessert. And they a, all, a dessert they bowl. all managed to know. They managed to fit into a little cup. Yeah. And if it get people, it's a good. It's a good tip that if it really stings, get some condensed milk and just drop it in there. <laughs> oh, no. yeah. And uh, my personal favorite, which was kind of the. Uh, thing that stopped it all. Uh, somebody thought along the way that Jason Saab was responsible for these pranks, which he wasn't. He had nothing to do with it. Oh, no. But they went outside and found a dog shit and they brought it, or it could have been a human shit, I'm not sure. And he had this new white t shirt. While he was doing gym, they rubbed, they smeared dog shit all over his white t shirt. <laughs> <laughs> and he came in, had a shower, and went to leave to go home, put his T-shirt on, and he just had shit all over it. <laughs> That's awful. It was actually kind of sad because he'd done nothing wrong. Oh. It's just good to know that rugby league in a lot of ways hasn't changed. Like, no. you know, I draw the line at shit. Yeah, yeah shit. Chilies are different. Mm. Yeah, I know. No. Yeah. Well, maybe think about flushing next time. Practice what you preach. <laughs> <laughs> um, and Matthew, let's talk about Vegas. We um, Each week we'll oh. bring you a little bit of yeah. what happened um, along our trip. It was quite a blur, I guess, but... Mm. It was fun, but it was kind of depressing. You know what? It was great getting to Vegas and seeing Vegas. And, you know, it's so bright and big and everything's, you know, up tenth level. But then it doesn't take long and you soon go quite tired of it and you see the ugly side of Vegas, which mm. is like there's a lot of homeless, so many drugs. I mean, there's no rules. You hardly see any police there. People are walking down the street drinking. And vomiting. Smom oh, smoking, vomiting. That turned me. That was the first night. Well, it was you Until that did it. I did not. <laughs> yeah. But the worst part about that was um, some poor girl walked behind this guy and walked straight into this big pile of vomit. And then walk pa I walked past oh. the guy the next day oh. and he was vomiting again. No, he was spinning. Because <laughs> I went, oh, how gross. That guy just spat over the bridge and that went, oh, my God, that's the vomiter. A town man. Oh, yeah. he was having a big weekend. Yeah. He was horrible. And I'll tell you something, boys, you'll love this because you know how Americans are just so literal. So when Trish, Trish and I jump in a lift and the lift would be packed, oh. I'd just start saying things to her. And I was, As we're walking out the I, lift. I'd pretend that Trish was a prostitute that I picked up <laughs> and the, the all the uh, Americans are sitting there, everything's really quiet. And as the door opened, I said to Trish, so just remind me again, it's $90 for half an hour. Can I get maybe a discount? <laughs> Man, and it was all fine, like when I punched him and they'd laugh, but some of them didn't laugh. No. It was not good. No. I was, no. I could have no. throttled him. That's um, brilliant. And, you know, there's loads and loads of development going over there. Mm. Um, they're building a new Formula One track. Yeah, they they've That's got a Grand Prix right. going on in mm. November this year, mm. and it's going to be going down the strip. For part of it, yep. Um, Madison Square Garden are building a big concert dome. Yep. We saw that as we and, entered. Hey, and guess who? Guess who? Uh, what band they've got to be the residents? <gasps> is it you too? Yes, it is. I know. Yeah. You told me already. <laughs> Did I really? Yes, Jesus, it's been a big That'd off be season. Good. Yeah, you yeah, too is going to be the resident. They're the resident, or they're going to open it. No, I, I believe it's the resident. Wow. I listened to Bono on Smartless. And uh, Jason Bateman sort of blew it and said, I believe you're taking up a residency. And he said, oh, that was supposed to be a secret. Oh, but really? Yes. Okay. Yeah. No. They might even open with Love Roller Coaster. Oh, I hope so. <laughs> it's a Love Roller Coaster. Um, and a taxi driver also told us that Universal Studios are building one down there in Vegas. Really? So, like, they're just, yeah. And Although that was the same guy that told us. We'll have, um, get, we'll have to get the gummies and go there. <laughs> that it, um, that, that was, it that never was, rained in that, Vegas. That was a great day. It, 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 and then the next day we woke up when we were leaving and, and it was well, it wasn't pouring, but it was raining. Mm. It was wet. It was. There was water was on the ground. Wet. Yes. Yeah. Um, is it time, Trish, for Cooper's Nasty Review? Du, 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 du. Sure. Let's do it, Coops. Okay. Thanks, guys. Mm. Um, okay. This one was again from Roger Ebert. Uh, he was really good in this one. Now, this was about a movie called The Brown Bunny. I've never seen it. Never heard of it. I've never heard of it either, mm. but I thought it was funny. And I thought it went with the title of the uh, the movie. He's come out and said, I had a colonoscopy once and they <laughs> let me watch it live on the TV. Ooh. That was more entertaining than The Brown Bunny. <laughs> <laughs> but here's the kicker. Uh -oh. uh, a year later, he actually recanted what he said uh, after re-watching it and ended up giving it three stars. Did he really? Yeah. Three so, out of five. 
Yeah, three out of now, five stars. Now, Rogers, three out of ten. R- does Rogers, he, three out of four. Does he explain why, Cooper? Is he oh. three out of four? He's, he only does really? four stars. Okay. Rog. Geez, that's a pretty dramatic. What, did he, what a change. That's what Jack said. Why did, did he yeah. elaborate why he changed his mind? I think... I think the director did a bit of a recut and then reshow. Like I think he changed a little bit of stuff and then gave it back to him after and said, and then that was his second review on. Jeez, it. that's a big turnaround. That is right. a big turnaround from talking about colonoscopy. colonoscopy. Watching a live colonoscopy of your own yeah. uh, mm. doing. Mm. So well done, Roger Ebert. Well done, Rog. Rest in peace, old mate. Is uh, he not with us? No, he's passed. Oh. Really? Yeah. Um, guys, the Grammys. Trish, your yeah. girl Beyonce. Yeah. Wow. I firstly. I, she broke all the records, but 80 minutes late. I know, I know. LA traffic, and we can vouch for that. It's pretty bad. You but you'd think have thought beyond that, some, yes. yeah, like everyone else managed to make it on time. Maybe be, um, it was just boring, and she thought, well, I'd save myself 80 minutes of having to sit there and clap everyone. It's not, it's not a bad, it's not a bad method. Just going, yeah. let's just cut all the bullshit and yeah. get there. Because um, Ben Affleck looked pretty happy to be there with J Lo, didn't he? I didn't see Ben Affleck. <laughs> oh, I think there was honestly, some dramas going on between them. Oh, I think there was too. Actually, I yeah. put up a post today and someone's oh. lip reading her. He whispers into her ear and then she sort of gives him a whack and tells him to stop it. So they got a professional lip reader to actually decipher yeah. what she was saying. I, um, I did see someone post about it and say, I believe she, they said, I think she'd be hard work. She's got more rings than LeBron James. <laughs> I agree with you. I think J-Lo would be hard work. I yeah. don't think so. You don't reckon? No, I reckon. How many times has she been divorced? <clears throat> yeah. Well, how many times has he? And yeah, no, he'd be hard work, I reckon. Yeah, probably both of them. I think I think he's hard work. Yeah. Well, I agree I think he'd be disagree. A Jack, you're the deciding vote. Good Charlie, but if he's not Generally, fun, those who say other people are hard work are, are definitely are hard work. Themselves. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I, um, okay, so we so all said that? someone was hard work. That means we're yeah, all, we're hard, all work. hard work. Is that what you're trying to say yeah. here? Who's, right up, let's throw it up. Who's, who's the most hard work in our family? Of all of us. If yeah. you were going to date one of us? No, 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 no. Which one do you think? Yes, if you were dating. Which one, yeah. if someone said, right, who's the most hard work in the family? Oh, well, f- for me, it'd be like Trish. Yeah, it's Like if I was Trish. to date Trish. No, you're not dating me. Hang on. You're well, not dating is, me. Don't cut, no, don't cut it's my grass. Just who? <laughs> yeah, there's nothing weird about that. Um, no, just hard work as a human being. Oh, Jack? Like to live with or whatever. Mm. You... Jack then, I guess? Mm. Oh, probably still Trish. Yeah, I think really? Trish. Just because you, you're up and down more than most yeah, of us. And the yabbering, just yabba, yabba, yabba all the time. <laughs> I've actually... <laughs> I've actually. Did you lip read that, mate? Yeah, uh, I actually realised with uh, like for the first twenty five years of our marriage, when Trish would talk, I thought she would, um, she was after a, a, a reply. I've realised that all the chitter chatter is mainly rhetorical. It's just like when we were sitting in a movie yeah. and we we're watching, it and it's just chatter, 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 chatter. And I yeah. said, "Were you one of those kids? Were you the, the kid when everyone, all the whole family, sitting watching? They're going, oh, my God, can you shut up, Trish?'" Yeah. Yeah. Okay, move on. You're um, a real asshole. Yeah. Um, Adele, you know did I mention that um, my girlfriends from Newcastle are coming up to stay this weekend? Oh no, this yeah. weekend, not those hags. This weekend, who? <laughs> uh, Jackie, Stacey, and Leanne. Where are they oh, staying? Yuck. Here. Yeah. Where? Oh, well, we'll find space for them. Oh, what are you concerned that I'm going to kick you out of your room? No, I was just wondering who's going to be sleeping with me. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe Dad. Hello. And we might hang upstairs. I might put him down with you. Yeah. yeah. Remember last time we all got sick? Oh, yes. We won't do that this time. In yeah. fact, Leanne ended up with pneumonia. Did she really? Yes, yeah, she did. Yeah, yeah, what you deserve. <clears throat> oh. <laughs> Complete <laughs> and utter hag. Oh, <laughs> you are an ass. Yeah. Oh. Um, Trish, Adele. Man. Adele got bleeped off, so she, she swore. Hang on, that's in my um, mm. topic this week, so we'll leave it oh, for that if you don't okay. mind. Okay, okay, mm. no problem. Well, let's do let's do Jack's ten to one. Jack, ten to one as far as your music music's concerned. What's the ten to one this week? Cobra, I've gone with ten to one title tracks on albums. Yeah, right. Um, so the best, the best, so the sing- like their sing- tracks. like their best song in that. Uh, or, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. The the, the 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 song for an example would be the first one, which is. Uh, London Calling, uh, the name of the album, by The Clash, ah. which has a song in it called London, London Calling. Yeah. Of course, title track. Good great, one. Great example. Yeah. Okay, is that number 10? That's number 10. Where number away? Nine <laughs> is Imagine John Lennon. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. oh well. Wow. That is a beautiful uh, song. Number eight is Californication, Red Hot Chili Peppers. Oh, mm. Did they sing that at the they uh, concert? They did. They sung it like I'm not a fan of that song. It was their best song. Yeah. You reckon? 
Yeah. It was after like seven minutes. It was after like seven songs straight of new albums, and the whole Ooh. crowd sort of cheered relentlessly after they started playing it. Is Flea okay? Um, I saw him the other day, Flea. Does, does, does he need a little dental work? Did I see a picture where he's uh, missing a couple of teeth? Yeah, I don't think he needs dental work. I just think he needs a whole new set of teeth. Mm. Well, yeah. well, that is dental work, honey. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, that was number eight. Number seven is Straight Out of Compton, NWA. Oh, oh yes. yeah, word. What's that movie again the other day? <laughs> That's a great movie. Yeah, it was it a great is. movie. It mm. is. Doctor. Uh, number Dr. six Drew. is Paranoid, Black Sabbath. Yep. Oh, yes, um, our man. Cool. Mm. Number five is your man again, Cobra, Purple Rain, Prince. Oh, yeah, oh, nice. Yes. Uh, well, it's funny because Super Bowl's come oh, on yeah, Monday. Wasn't that one of the best Super Bowls in yeah. Minnesota yeah. when they, everything was purple? Who's, yeah. um, Rest who's, in peace, old mate. Who's doing Super Bowl entertainment? Ah, uh, Rihanna? Rihanna. Yeah. Rihanna. Yeah. She'd be good, I reckon. I think she will be good. Under my, I'm excited Umbrella. for that. I'm actually really uh, excited for Super Bowl. She's doing Laugh Roller Coaster. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Of love. Say what? Number four, Cobra, please stop. Yeah. Number four is Born in the USA, Bruce Springsteen. Oh, wow. Wow. yes. I got it. This is, we're getting to the point here now. Yeah. Uh, number three is Thriller by Michael Jackson. Mm. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. What, what a monster of an album that was. Wow. One of the greats. Uh, number two is Wish You Were Here yeah. by oh. Pink Floyd. Oh, lovely. Yeah, Word. nice. And then number one on the list is uh, Hotel California by The Eagles. Oh, wow. What a ripper. Very, very good. True that. Mm. That's a- I, uh, I would encourage our listeners to uh, send me uh, ones that you think I left out. There you yeah. go. There you go. Oh, and that's awesome. right. But even you know, people send, Jack, can you send us some you yeah. know, some suggestions as far as 10 that's, to 1? Yeah, that's send a really me the great most idea. aggressive, aggressive, hateful messages yeah. if you're really mate, deeply hurt. Thank you. Mate, that was awesome, Jack. The last week of 10 to 1. That yeah. was a really good way to finish it. <laughs> we'll take a real quick break and be back very soon with Trisha's Masturbate. Welcome back to the show. Before we get off, I tell, I tell what I really enjoyed the other day. I sat down and had an old movie day. I watched Rocky 1. I actually cried in Rocky One. Really? Yeah. I, I God, it's a great movie. And then watch. What the got Ro- you, Cobra? What be got you? Um, where when, when where his dog a, got a, hit a, by a car. Sorry, what? are you it, Trish? I, just mate, listen, <laughs> listen. No, uh, you're just such the animal lover that it's like oh, you can't bear to watch anything. I would, I would absolutely be in tears. If, I'd rather watch. You, I'd rather run over a human than I would a dog. Oh, uh, don't say that. I can organise that. Uh, to, 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 and I watched Rocky Two after that, had a little tear there. And after that, watched American History X. Hadn't seen oh, that for decades. That's a great Watched movie. it the other day. One of the craziest movies I've ever seen. Edward Norton. He's my great. God, is in yeah. Primal Fear. Yeah. He is just. So, yep. Yeah. Jack watched Primal Fear the other day, didn't you? Uh-huh. First time, yeah. yeah. Mm. Tell you what, Cooper. I didn't see it coming. No. no. Okay, don't say anything because yeah. I haven't watched it and I'm yeah. going to watch it. I'm putting yeah. it on my Rich, list. Didn't see that one coming. It's, Usually right. when you watch I those think, sorts of flicks, you can see things coming. Yeah. Didn't see it coming. I think it's a better twist than The Usual Suspects. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. I, would, oh. I would almost coop. I would almost go as far to say yeah. you, you're correct. Yeah. 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 Richard Gere's in it too. Yeah. Mm. Oh, actually, yeah. I might have seen yes. that. Yeah. The old... Uh, Gerbil. He loves animals too, oh. just like Dad. Oh. Absolutely. He loves smuggling them across that. He might like animals a bit more than Dad. <laughs> he, he said, oh. yes, he said to his uh, to a good Uh-oh. friend of his son, he said, okay. <laughs> <laughs> see, hey, little man, see these gerbils? I, I hit them in my ass for five years. <laughs> and now they're yours. Oh. Uh, Trishy, Adele, can we go on to Adele? Okay, so what's she thinking? After Adele got bleeped off stage at the Grammys for saying "I effing love you all," mm. is it okay for performers to swear when it, um, accepting awards? Like she won the award for the best solo performance for "Easy on Me," which is such a nice song, <laughs> and, yeah. but she's like a bit of a, a contrast. As she yeah. is loose, like she's this beautiful, angelic voiced superstar. Mm. Um. But then she comes out with this real Cockney accent, yeah. and she's you know, is she w- beer is she, swilling. You is know? she a Londoner or is she Welsh? No, she's a Londoner. She? She's Cockney. I googled mm. it to yeah. check. Yeah, so, she's. I remember when we watched her, like she was swearing at like people in the crowd and stuff. She got oh, a, did she? Yeah. Well, During the concert, at, at the, that tour, uh, before we had that, um, a couple concerts before that, people were complaining about her swearing. Oh, really? And she didn't care. She was like, oh, why, why I love it. I reckon. I, it's do, good. I think it just shows passion. She's not swearing at. Anyone, she's just using no. it in her sentence structures. Oh, look, I, P- I don't mind swearing. You know me. 
Well, it's an award ceremony. It's not like it's it's not like you're a part of like the Grammy like you know association where they pay you like they pay your money, so you have to apply to their rules. Mm. I think you get what you pay for. If you're invited, yeah. just play on. Yeah. You'd be yourself. Yeah. I mean, it's not as if you're doing it in front of a kindergarten class. Like yeah, there's no. uh, you know you're up yeah. there sort of concert. And, yeah. And mate, you turn on TV now. But so FYI, not, probably a lot of children would go to that concert. Although you know what, I, she was playing when we were in Vegas, and I looked at tickets. They started at seven hundred US. Yeah, she's there was. A, I went. No, nice. thank you. I'll be putting on a CD. Well, do you think you think it like even like on the swearing at award ceremonies? You think like they had Ricky Gervais at the Golden Globes. Oh, so I sort of you. think like, mm. I mean, you can swear. And what did she actually say? I effing, I effing love, love you. you. Like that's. Sweet. But she said, it. "I know." Like that's a compliment, really, right? Yeah, that's mm. fine. If so. someone said that to me, I'd go, "Great." Mm. Yeah, no, that's fair play. It's not like I effing hate you. Mm. Blood or you're blood. effing losers or something like that. Has there been backlash, Trish, or is it just sort of just speculation? Oh, oh there's been commentary around That's it. That's ridiculous. Yeah. Come on. It's a little bit like I, I watched the other no- Come on. That's yeah. Come on. It's ridiculous. There's got to be yeah. investigation. Someone, someone's so, got to be accountable for this. Mm. I, I watched an interview the other night with Red Hot Chili Peppers, right, and it was an American guy interviewing. And, man, he was a smarmy piece of shit. And he just, like, he, he it was like he just wanted to – Make Anthony Curtis uncomfortable. He kept like Anthony Curtis would be talking about, it and he just sit there like stone face. And then towards the end of it, he goes, "You know, I listened to your first album. Some of the lyrics seem a little misogynist. How do you feel about mm-hmm. that now?" And you're going, "It's thirty years yeah. ago, <laughs> like th- yeah, you know, probably time. thirty-five I'm years." Very well, sick of all Anthony Curtis, uh, like Curtis, he just rolled his eyes and went, "Oh wow," and you're going, yeah. "Mate, who, who, sorry, who was interviewing him?" I don't know, some. Some Australian? S- no, no, American. No, oh, right. Two ears, one mouth, Trish. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, I zoned out on you. <laughs> but now, boys, you've got the trolls this weekend. It kicks off. So, Coop, you're playing the bunnies. Yep. Jack, you're playing who? Sharks. Sharkies. Mate, we're playing the uh, Sharkies. Yeah, we are. Yeah. Yeah, right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, let's move on. Uh, are you, you're going to watch, Matthew. Are you playing many uh, of your squad, Jack? Is many of the you know the regular seventeen first grade boys playing? Uh, there's a few outs like Ty, uh, Frizz and um, the, the the sheets out. I'm trying to remember the squad. There's a fair few boys playing the, the like the the SAF boys and um, what a few. it will be pretty good to watch for the yeah. fans. There's a fair few. Yeah. Um, How about the spine? Backs. What about the spine? Yeah, I, I had a look at the team. It's a it's a is a picked a strong side. Like Jackson Hastings is playing. Oh yeah. Kalen? Yeah, Tyson Gamble. Uh, no, Kalen's not playing. No. How about Lachlan Miller? No. Uh, no, he's not. Okay. No, against his old club. Yeah, that would have been cool. <laughs> yeah, what about you, Coops? Have you got many regular We have, I think, 17? no, not re- Oh, we got a, f- um, we got like Ben Condon, Sipley. Um, we got a, like a, f- our, in our forward pack, there's a fair few, but yeah. I think it's more of a chance for um, the young fellas uh, and boys who haven't really played mm. for much first grade to play, and then next week against the Roosters, it'll be more that side. Yeah, it's, right. it's a lot of sport at the moment. So that little crossover period where you know the rugby league's about to start, you know the cricket's sort of coming to an end. LeBron James, oh, Trish, and he broke. That was great. He broke the. That. Uh, well, don't the Americans broke. do it well? Right in the like in mm. the third quarter of the match, LeBron broke Kareem Abdul-Jabbar's point scoring. Record most that points was ever, and they thirty eight thousand three hundred eighty seven points. And they just Kareem did, had, and they completely stopped the they game. They stopped it, and yeah. they just flooded the court. Did a whole presentation, yeah, and then went back on with the game. Yeah, but he sat off because they realised it would be too much for him. Yeah, he, he, he hurt his foot too. I think he cooled down, mm. and mm. then Oklahoma City Thunder one two. Two of okay. that young that Josh Giddy. Josh Giddy's good. He is yeah. wow, Melbourne boy. Plays like a European player. Yeah, beautiful skills and he um. He used to ke- he still keeps in touch with a lot of the AFL boys at um he was close he was talking to uh, Clayton Oliver who was I was close with in Melbourne and um apparently he was not like in Melbourne he was like third sort of grade a third grade sort of basketball player like wasn't really that good like didn't look like he was going to be anything in Melbourne and then out of nowhere eh? the last two Just years carved up. the last two Good years he, he went away with the Australian side had a called into the side late had a really big impact. Got NBA attention and got drafted, and he's just exceeded all the expectations. Yeah. He was brilliant again against Le- LeBron. Yeah. He was very, very he's good. Uh, On that note, what about um, Jordan Wayalata oh. playing for his um, 
Philadelphia it, Eagles on a, Monday. What a story Super that Bowl. is. Crazy. Isn't that awesome? Yeah. Mm. And, mate, what a, it's a great Super Bowl too. Philadelphia have been the best side all year. But, mate, yeah. Who do you think I, will win? I, I hope Philly win for Jordan's sake. But, mate, this is hard to back against Patrick Mahomes. Mm. Yeah. And, mate, Mahomes and Travis Kelsey – that is the yeah. new Brady Gronkowski. Yeah, it is. Mm. It's a great combination. Yeah. And he's how about Mrs. Kelsey? <laughs> um, she's got two sons playing. One, Travis Kelsey plays for Kansas City, and Jason Kelsey plays for the Philly Eagles. That's amazing. Isn't mm. it? Yeah. Both and the play fan, cornerback. Yeah. Both cornerbacks. Yeah, mm. and um, the fans are actually wanting um, her to do the coin toss. I saw. I don't oh, know if that'll wow. happen. I yeah, but that's Travis what they're Kelsey playing for. Travis Kelsey was a tight end. I oh, look, mate. I think he is. Yeah, he is. Sorry, cornerback's the defender. It's, he's a tight end. I'm sorry, mate. Jeez, mate. Nothing Jesus. like. Are we going to watch it? I'm yeah, really yeah. keen for it. Yeah. Let, I'm going to go somewhere. Yeah, let's go somewhere. And just gorge myself on all that American food, like fries and nachos. Uh, It'll be actually really fun to go somewhere. We, I've never been somewhere to watch it. Trish, where will we go? An Irish pub. Oh, what an Irish pub to watch the Super Bowl? Well, uh, Irish, pub, we... Irish pubs are always open at all hours of the day. I so I figured to... we could go early. I reckon we go to Chubbs. At Brookvale. Yep, I reckon that's a good that's the place. It's a bit dark. It's an American theme, though. Mm. A question, how many chickens are there in the world, given the fact that Super Bowl, how many wings? Like, I said to myself, yeah. like, every wing, like every chicken's only got, like, two, two wings. wings. And the amount of, like, those obese Americans just dead set inhale them. Yeah, Matt, don't be go, so judgmental. What do you mean? Obese Americans. I'm not being critical. I'm no, just it's just stating a fact. Yeah, well, it's true. one of the most obese well, there's also nations a, a, in the world. Obese Australians. Yeah, but there's more. And yeah, but that, Germans. But they don't and inhale Italians. They don't inhale wings mm, like the yeah. Americans okay. do. I I do. Sausages. I do wonder if Germans. the breeding rate of chickens is you know what I mean is going quicker or you know there's like than the amount of wings being consumed. Mm. So you at night when you lay <laughs> downstairs you in your own little dungeon, <laughs> you think about like how how. Chickens breed. Well, mate, good for you. Well, well the rate I, that they're breeding. Usually, there's a lot that's of That's not eggs, how it honey. goes. Usually, I'll have a Hillary swank, and then when I go <gasps> to bed, yep. I'll be laying down. I close my eyes, and those are the things that think. Are there what's more? You think about chicken wings. Are there more wheels or doors in the world? Things yeah. like that. Well, I'll pick you up on something with my uh, acute hearing. What is that? that? You have more than just a Hillary swank. I'd say you have a Tom Hanks. You have. <laughs> Look, no one's actually mentioned my sore hand. Oh. My sore wrist. What, how, how'd you do that? <laughs> Is that the one you heard sleeping. jerking me off? <laughs> no, I literally sleeping last night. Sure. Yeah, I yeah. woke up well, during the night thinking, do my hands really sore? Yeah. My well, I wonder. You're sleep. sleeping, Dad's grabbing your hand. No, he yeah. wasn't even here. I'm saying, Trish, can you take your hand out of my ass, please? He was in please? Canberra. Mm. Yes. What? I was, with, I was with Albo, and meanwhile, who knows what you were doing here? Oh, I just, it's really sore. I don't know what's wrong with it. The brown bunny strikes again. Yeah. What does that mean? Yeah, no, no, that's all right. Roger Ebert. Oh, uh, my God. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll take a real quick break and come back with some of the big news that's going on around the world at the moment. Welcome back to the podcast. Tell you what, um, Trish and I, we're, just, we're getting into this. I mean, we... We've really regressed. We went to Universal Studios on the roller coasters and whatnot, and we're buying women's magazines. Guys, oh. it is oh. it's some big stories here. Did <laughs> you, you know, sneeze? Nicole? Is that a sneeze? Because I'm tight. Yeah, I'm still here. Uh, yeah, it was a sneeze. <laughs> Feel free to join in any time, Jack. Um, Nicole Kidman and Keith Urban uh, on the front page of the New Idea had a huge fight, and they're, they're talking bust up. Oh, um, it's unbelievable. Like, if you look at the pictures... Like they're just talking and she's using some gestures with her uh, hands, which no, is just conversation. I think they're on the money. I can oh, see they're fighting. Uh, sweet Keith didn't look happy. Uh, Jennifer Aniston and Harry Styles have hooked up. Isn't that oh, a wonderful uh, story? No, did you read it thoroughly? I don't think they've hooked up, but he's chasing. How do, how do they know that? Oh, they're making it well, up. I don't think are, it's even true. But I hope it is because he's coming out soon. I'm going to see him. If he likes older women, they, sweet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, real old women. <laughs> yeah, a gilf. Um, <laughs> and... The woman, do you remember a few years ago that woman had eight kids? Remember that? Oh, the Octo Mum. Oh, yeah. Octo Mum. Well, they've all turned 14. Isn't that a wonderful story? Yeah. Oh, I had them at once. You had them all at Is once. Octo. Oh, no yeah. way. Yeah. Oh, wow. How would yeah. that go? Do you reckon That's... by number eight, number eight just basically slipped out? Yeah. I don't know. Like oh, they would all have been I would tiny. think the last they'd four would, would have come ages. out like a slip and slide. Yeah. It was mm. like, oh, they'd all have come out. There was an old lady who lived in a shoe. She had so many kids that you just dropped out. Really? What? <laughs> Oh my God! Stop it! That's a don't talk about a, uteruses, Matt. A, you don't a, have one. You can't a, mention it. That's an old poem. 
isn't it? No. What else is now? Trish, um, beer prices rising ten percent. Yeah. I mean, I took Anthony Albanese to task on this. Home ra- <laughs> like home loan rates can go through the roof, but touching our beer, what a disgrace! <laughs> Inflation's crazy. Bloody yeah. commies. Yeah. Pommies or commies? You said commies. commies. Oh. Yeah. Is that just in Australia or is that worldwide? Uh, just in Australia. Is that including Steel City? Uh, no, we uh, we're the only one. We're the only ones that are keeping. Our we're actually reducing. We're mm-hmm. actually reducing. Yeah, makes you better looking. Makes your penis bigger too. But <laughs> oh. you know. uh, Cooper, it is time for your quiz. What yeah. You for okay. Us? Basically, uh, the structure of this week's quiz. It's going to be two songs that I'm going to read the lyrics out, and I've chosen the people who are going to do it. There's going to be two films where I say the quotes as that character, and you need to guess who they are, and I've picked two people for that. And then two ham- who am I's. Okay. I'm going to start with the songs. I'm going to read a, a, a small verse of a song. You've got to guess what it is. Jack, we're going to start with you, okay? Are you, re- Yo. are you ready? Are you switched on? Because I've seen you on your phone. No problem, then. man. Gotcha. Okay. Gotcha. Price you got to pay when you break the panorama. She never knew that there was any. Danny California. Yes, well done. Great work. Oh, well done. Wow, you are good. Awesome. I knew you'd be good. Dad, yeah. this next one's for you. I'm going to be horrible. And I know, well, Love don't it. worry, I didn't let you do the music one. You're on the other two because I knew you'd be shocking. Love yeah. roller coaster. Only go with chance. Uh, no, <laughs> mate. Okay. He was selling postcards from a paper stand. The whiskey. whiskey bo- um, um, uh, uh, I ain't the one. Uh, no, I'll give you one more chance. Yeah. The whiskey bottle in his withered hand, mm-hmm. put his finger on a photo from an old magazine, yeah. saw, saw himself, himself in the shadow, shadow of, of a dream. dream. Um, take a long line. Yes. Oh. Well done. Mm. You're a phenomenon. Yeah, thanks. Right, uh, what else, Coos? What do you right. got, man? This, Trish, is, this, this is exciting. This, doing this. this is the Who Am I? Trish, yeah. this one's going to be for you, okay? Yeah. Very simple, the ones I gave you, okay? Oh. Just like extremely simple. Yeah, simple thanks. woman. Simple mind. Okay, over my tennis career, I've been ranked number one for 253 weeks. Of my 15 total US Open journey appearances, I have only lost nine matches total. And the uh, there was only one person who's ever beaten me twice. Who am I? I'm going to say Roger Federer. No, Serena Williams. Oh, damn. Uh, I didn't know whether it was boy or girl. Well, she would have been my girl pick. Yeah, okay. And then, Dad, this one's for you. I'm a well-known author. I won the Booker Prize of my book, Schindler's Ark. Uh, I am a storm. Thomas oh. Keneally. Yes, oh, well how done. How easy was that? Manly supporter, You're Thomas Keneally. <laughs> yeah. yes. That was easy. Your one, I've actually hand-picked it to you. No. What? Yeah. Yeah. I right, didn't know Trish, that. straight back to you, okay? Oh, why? Not no. a film. No, this is the film. It's going to be a quote and it's going to be in their voice, okay? Oh, this is not going to be good. This is going to be easy I don't watch you. the same on, films as just you. Just listen up, Chitter Chatter. Yeah, okay. yeah. If you let my daughter go now. Oh, <laughs> um, taken. By who? Pardon? Yeah. Liam Neeson. Yeah. Yes, well done. Did you see Liam Neeson gave Conor McGregor a bit of spray the other day? I oh, love no. Liam Neeson. Yeah, I like Conor McGregor. Conor McGregor should just go, eh, well, I'll tell you what. Oh, hey, is he a leprechaun? <laughs> <laughs> No, he's not. Really he's, really he got watch. a pot of gold. I tell you what, Liam, you don't. The, in my world, you don't do action or cut. So come in here, and I'll pull your nose off. They're both Ooh. Irish. Yeah, they're both, both Irish. Both Irish, eh? Yeah. yeah yes. Okay. Right, Coops. And then the last one, Jack. This is for you. Okay, this is uh, the same as Tristan, just a film. All right. Yo. Just stay in the minute, mate. Word. <laughs> you think that no you, worries, bro. You think you're too cool for school, but I have a news flash for you, Walter Cronkite. Zoolander. You, yes. Well done. Mm. Nice Jeez, work. Good. Oh, Jeez, nice. That's good. That's good fun, Coops. We were very good. Okay, it's time for That your, segment uh, can stay. It's Matt's survey time where I survey 10 people uh, through the week for responses. And uh, this week I did it at Parliament House with a number of the pollies this there. should be good. I didn't really know many of the politicians there, but I'll tell you what, Trish, I met the m- member for Hunter. He's about, he's about six foot eight. Oh, what's his name? Big fella. <laughs> Big foot. <laughs> right. Anyway, um, okay, so this is what I threw at 10 people, the pollies. I said, okay, you buy a house, uh, which once was owned by a mafia boss. You find a secret hidden compartment with $5 million in it. What do you do? Now, this was an old story from uh, – this is an old story from a pub. Yeah. In the Lower East Side, a guy bought a pub, which an old mob boss ran, went down to the bottom, found this compartment, opened up, and there was a safe, opened the safe, and there was $10 million well, in Were there. we just yeah. told that? 
yeah. together when we were in yes. New York. Yeah, yeah. Yes. So he went, right, what am I going to do? And he said, oh, no, he was terrified. Went to the mob boss who was in jail and told him. He went, thanks. He, he didn't know. He, yeah, he, he did didn't not know. know. So he could have got the money. Yeah. yeah he he get... didn't realise it was there. But you just don't know oh, if he no. knows or not. He'd be looking yeah. over so, his shoulder. Did he so, let him have some? I reckon he would have. No, he didn't throw him a bone at all. Mm. So this one, this is what the police said. Three of them said, I'd keep it and risk death. Uh, one of them said, burn it, which I, I totally didn't get. Don't vote for them. <laughs> uh, <laughs> another three said, give it to a charity which is absolute bullshit. Uh, two of them said they would visit the mob boss, tell him and hope that uh, he'd throw them a bone. Yeah. And one said, stupid question. So uh, oh. I just moved on from there. Who was that? So there we, yeah. Uh, what, would, who, what would you do, Trish? Uh, I'd be too frightened. I'd be saying, do you know what? I might actually just hand it to the police and go, I found this. Yeah, that's probably worse. Yeah, I'd take it to the mob boss and say, hey, mate, this is what I found. Look, you wouldn't believe it. I found $4 million. Yeah, that's smart. You're right. If yeah, you but, kept it and didn't say anything, you would, you'd just be waiting yeah, it, to I be bludgeoned. Yeah, I couldn't live like that. Well, yeah. I'd, I'd, I'd keep it and I'd just move. Okay. He wouldn't have any idea. Witness protection. You wouldn't even need to sell I think, your property. No, I think I you, uh, Cobra, if you gave him part of it, I reckon you'd be getting watched for a long time. Mm. Mm. Word. Okay, uh, Trish, got feedback for this week? Yeah, I do. Now, Batuta Advocate put up a thing calling out some dude that's been plagiarising Red Reagan comments. Really? Yes, people sent it to me. Yep. Um, well, and well it's, a, it's a joke, Trish. It's I know, I know. Oh, yes, I yes, know that. You know. Thank you. Remember the time Trish <laughs> sent me a... There was a he it wasn't headline. the Batuta ad. No, yeah, it, it was it Daily was. something. Oh, no, it was, it was something else. Yeah. Newcastle, like Daily. What's that one in Newcastle, Jay? Oh, um, Blue oh, something? Daily Blue. Daily Blue. Daily Blue. Daily Blue. Went, um, he's supposed to be a good fella. A few of the boys run into him. They reckon he's a little. No, he's not an asshole. Yeah, f- f- <laughs> I said uh, it was the headline was, Trish sent it and goes, oh, do you want to explain this? And it was 50-year-old <laughs> grandmother talks about the night she uh, – the night, the ro- romantic interlude she had with the Johns brothers, right? Mm. And Trish goes, "Have a look at this. Do you want to explain this?" And I went, "Yeah, I'll explain it. It's a, uh, <laughs> it's a fictional newspaper." <laughs> yeah. So what's what's some yeah, of the right. stuff that with the red stuff? I oh, know it's just using your quotes, oh. but essentially, people want red back, and whereas there's sort of a movement to start a petition. Maybe we could do like a one-night-only sort of a thing, the Red Dragon performance. Oh, Trish, I'm a pretty serious media type these days. You yeah, know. but it wouldn't be you. Just put that life behind him. Yeah. Uh, yeah you're too Look, good you know what? That. The one thing I will say about that for you, Big M, mm. is I feel it with today's, with how, you know, today is modern world, Look. it'd be ve- like the expectation that everyone would have it to be wouldn't be able to live up to what yeah. they've thought it's going to be like in their head. If you could be clever enough, you could. Yeah, well, You'd I'm have not. to be fairly be very careful. hard, but I don't yeah. think it wouldn't. No, I don't ha- think it would. Having said that, Cooper, how do you explain Bill Burr? Right, people like people like Bill Burr, who I've actually think sometimes it's a hit back against the woke. The more people hear all this other stuff, that they actually it actually makes. The Bill Burr stuff more popular. Mm. If that makes sense, because yeah. people like are getting Bill a little Burr. bit tired. There will be a bounce back from it. Yeah. Like I think the whole it's, woke thing is just over the top. It, it's getting ridiculous. I think it's starting to happen. Yeah, I think so. Mm. Yeah. 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 Well, maybe maybe there is a point soon then mm. that you might we might be able to get together as a family and talk about Red Return. Red Dragon. Real Reg, Randy, or, Reg's Return. Or Randy yeah. Discotelli. Mm. Hello, Trish. Um, and shout out to all of our English listeners suffering over there in the freezing cold at the moment, particularly Lee Battersby from Suffolk. Mm. Um, big potty listener. Um, and he and his wife, Z. Now she's a uh, league widow all during the Super League season over there. Oh. He's a lead supporter. Oh, is he? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, and I, I think how did Leeds go? They've had a really couple of rough years, Leeds. But uh, I think they bounced back a little bit last year. I'm not sure. St. Helens are dominating. St. Helens are out here at the moment, aren't they? Before. Yeah, they? Oh, yeah, World Cup yeah. Challenge. Yeah, World Cup Challenge. When this pl- comes out, it will have been. Won't and it? they're playing. They're playing. They're playing a trial game against one or two sides as well. Are yes. they playing the World Cup Challenge this week? Uh, in no. a couple of weeks. They're playing week. a couple of trial games first. Do you know their, their hooker, who is one of you know, England's, you know, certainly one of St. Helens' greatest ever players, James Roby, he's still playing. He's 39. He's played something like 550 games. Wow. Incredible. Mm. That's mm. phenomenal, eh? Um, and my last Amazing. bit of... Amazing. Oh, sorry. Last mm. bit of feedback is wow. um, I'd like to get the joke session going back up. So if you could send me via Insta any of your good quality jokes, please. Mm. It's going to be really hard to beat the Peking Duck joke mm. from last year. Who did that one? Me. Yeah. Okay. 
Yeah. Yep. But I didn't do it as a joke. I told it as a story you, and that was the real catcher. That was, I think, if, quite, yeah. that would be the title track on your greatest hits. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Be, it'd be a single back. too. Yeah, it would be. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I've got another little bit of thing, uh, a little, a little itty bitty thing. I can do it today or I can save it for next week because we're kind of going over today. Yeah. I've got some yeah. really great quotes that okay. I picked up over the off season, particularly give from it, Yellowstone. Okay, what about teasers? Give, give us one and we'll yeah. do the rest next week. Okay. All right, I'm going to um, go okay. with Beth, Beth Dutton. Mm. One of my favourite characters Beth, of anything from Yellowstone. You and her quote is, I'm not starting this day sober. Yeah, it doesn't actually work, does it? No. What is Out what of did context. You, what, how do you well, in the context, this. it was really funny. So you're impressed. In the context, it was really funny. Well, in the context of the show. Do you yeah, ever, don't worry about Trish, it. Do you ever visualise sometimes like how, when you write stuff down, no. how it's going to sound when you no. say it? No, I don't. No. Well, you maybe should. I'm just a free oh, spirit. Don't worry, Trish, I've got the same problem. Thank you, no. Jack. No. I know, oh, sorry, yeah. boys, Cooper. we can't always I think I got like it you. from you. Cooper, yeah, I think you did. Give us five, mate, kindred spirits. You know what? <laughs> We're good the people, Jack. Keeping Jacko. the ship apl- afloat. Mm. Okay, any tips for this week, guys? What do you got for us? Mate, just get on the uh, – welcome Rugby League's back this week. All the trials game's going to be televised. Yep. Uh, you've got the Indigenous All-Stars versus the Māori All-Stars as well. So get on there, uh, crack open a Steel City and uh, sit back on your Friday afternoon and watch. And isn't it good to see mm-hmm. it back? And Fox so broadcasting all the trial games. Yeah, I was think a, that's awesome. It was a ratings revelation last year. Really? Yes. Outrated. Also, oh, some... Fox are um, doing all the trial games. All the trials. Someone yes. mentioned that to me the other day. And I, and I, I think yeah, it's great. just sick to – for the fans to see blokes that haven't played first grade playing yeah. who are going to be playing in, you know, New South Wales Cup or their mm. 20s level or est- wherever they're playing, mm. you know, a lot of exciting young talent. I can speak for the Manly Ringer Seagulls fans. You've got a lot of young talent there who uh, you haven't seen before in first grade, but a couple of years to come, they're coming through. So get out there and watch. And um, Newcastle, not so much, but Manly, oh. they've got a fair few. Jack, a question. Young Bailey Hodgson. No, I'm excited for Newcastle season. Josh Josh Hodgson's um, cousin. Um, he's playing fullback this week. So it was a really, really exciting young player coming through at Castleford. He had a lot of injuries. Gets a chance this week. Yeah, he gets a chance this week. Hodjo has been a bit a long time coming. He's had a lot of time off with uh, COVID issues plus uh, injury. So it'll be exciting to see Hodjo play this week. Yes. Well, guys, I enjoyed hey, that. I had one. Oh, sorry. Um, if you've got lemons yeah, make and lemonade. they're a little hard, <laughs> but you need to get the juice out of them, yep. apparently you whack them in the microwave for a few seconds. Yeah, loosen them up. Yeah. yeah. And, and you to get more juice. Them, eh? yeah. No, no, no. If you whack them in, and it literally yeah. softens it, you yeah. get more juice out of them. I didn't know. And I haven't actually tried it. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I've got another great one for you about shaving cream next week. Oh, really? Oh, 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 oh. Not what we did on honeymoon, was or, it? Or you could just say it now. Yeah. No, I'm going to yeah. save it for save next for week. Save for next week. Good hook, good tease. <laughs> Spend his next week, Have guys. a great week. Have a good one. Ciao, ciao.